Manual testing interview questions for freshers. 1. What is manual testing? Answer. In manual testing, a tester manually verifies the functionality of the software. The tester has a comprehensive list of all the manual testing test cases they should test, along with the test data. They go through each case, one by one. They launch the software as an end user would, enter the input, and manually verify the output. It may seem that manual testing is inefficient when compared to automated testing. It is slow, not repeatable in a consistent manner, and prone to human misjudgment. However, manual testing allows the tester to realistically test the software, using actual user data in a natural user environment, subject to similar external conditions. Only a human, not a computer, can evaluate the usability and accessibility of the application and how it looks and feels to the end user. It also gives a broader perspective of the system. Finally, some test scenarios just can't be automated and need to be manually tested. Thus, it is always recommended that you test the software manually before attempting to automate it. 2. What are the advantages and disadvantages of manual testing? Three. Name some of the manual testing tools. Answer. Some of the top manual testing tools include Postman Message Queue Monitors, DB Tools, etc. Four. What types of manual testing are there? Answer. In the course of the test life cycle, there are different manual testing types or manual testing techniques that may be used. Following is a list of them. Black box testing, white box testing, unit testing, system testing, integration testing, acceptance testing. 5. Who is a manual tester? Write its roles and responsibilities. Answer. The manual tester is a professional who conducts quality checks on software applications without using automation tools or scripting. In essence, the speciality involves manually checking software for errors and fixing them. Manual testers must have the appropriate skills and be able to meet the company's requirements. Manual tester roles and responsibilities analyzing client requirements. Reviewing written code for compliance with project specifications. Creating a test environment for executing test cases. Establishing quality assurance strategies and organizing phase testing. Organizing and conducting review meetings. Executing and analyzing test cases. Detecting and fixing bugs. Monitor system errors and discuss them with colleagues. Keeping in touch with the test manager, etc. 6. Describe the manual testing process. Answer. Among the steps involved in manual testing are requirement analysis, test plan creation, design test scenarios and test cases, test execution and defect reporting, evaluating exit criteria, and reporting test closure activities. 7. Can you tell me what the different levels of manual testing are? Answer. Different levels of testing can be carried out during the development process. Multi-level testing facilitates the identification of bugs early in the development process. The four levels of testing are as follows. Unit testing. Essentially, it is a way of testing logically isolated pieces of code within a system called units. Mainly, it focuses on the standalone module's functional accuracy. Integration testing. Software testing at this level involves combining and testing individual units to see if they work together as they should. This test focuses on the interface between modules. System testing. It involves testing all components of the product as a whole to ensure that overall product requirements are met. The types of system testing include regression testing, usability testing, and functional testing. User acceptance testing. Acceptance testing, also known as UAT, user acceptance testing, is the final step in the software testing process. This test determines if the software is ready for release. 8. In order to perform manual testing, what skills are required? Answer. The following are the important manual testing skills to acquire. 
detail-oriented and able to report test results in a professional manner. A strong analytical ability. Ability to perform technical testing. Familiarity with agile methodologies. Plan and track the testing process. Knowledge of SDLC, STLC, SQL, and manual concepts. An understanding of test management tools, test tracking tools, and testing techniques. 9. What is the difference between developer versus tester? Answer. Software developers and testers differ in the following ways. Ten. What is test coverage? Answer. Test coverage is a metric that indicates how much of the source code is covered by the tests, allowing the tester to verify the quality of their testing. Testers can use it to determine whether they're testing everything they're supposed to. Depending on the way people approach testing, test coverage can mean different things to different people. Product. It means looking at test coverage to answer the question. Which features or areas of the software do your tests cover? Requirements. The software might work well, but it's not useful to the customer if it doesn't satisfy their needs. Requirements coverage indicates how many of the requirements are tested. Source code. This is usually a developer's domain and is a white box testing technique. The developer can check how much of their source code is covered by the unit tests. 